Okay. I'm hoping you can see me. Uh, first of all, I just want to make sure that everyone is online. Um, if you're not an existing DBT candidate, uh, it's an opportunity for you to listen and learn. If you are an existing DBT candidate, this is all about you. Um, tonight, I actually personally do not care if anyone thinks that um, um, I'm boasting. I couldn't give a damn. At the end of the day, it's all about changing your lives. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you something. I want to um, help you to understand what it is that I've been talking about for the last, since the beginning of January, you know. So I'm just going to send this to everybody. All I care about right now, my candidates will understand what it is that I'm talking about. Um, so obviously, they would uh, probably benefit a lot more from this. Uh, but at the end of the day, there will be the wise ones among you uh, as well who are listening to this and who um, have been following us for quite a while. And uh, it is time. It is time. It is time. Um, you know, there's always, uh, there's, there are people who talk, you know, they just motivate you. And then by the time they finish screaming and shouting, trying to motivate you, nothing else to, nothing else to offer. You know, uh, you, you, you write really motivational stuff online, but you don't show people how to do it. Or you post really nice things um nice cars and all that stuff online and you you don't show people how to do it you, you know it's kind of as if you're showing off um and i i don't think i don't see the point in that you know if you want to show off then let it be because you're trying to empower people not because you're trying to rub it in people's face um and um my whole life uh, since i started career insights it has been all about empowering people it has been all about adding value to people's lives. I am proud of the fact that I have seen over 5,000 people move up the career ladder, um, earn salaries they never dreamt of, uh, buy houses, you know, and, and, and change their life. I, I will never forget the two couples that came to the UK for the first time and um, they come on the, came on the program. Two years later, they were buying houses, you know, telling me how many, how they've invested and how they intend to retire very soon. And that has always been a joy for me. Um, and I remember this month, I told you guys, uh, uh, I've been saying something. If you aim for 100%, even if you achieve 50%, it is still a pass mark. Olakule, I can see you on the call. Gladys, I can see you on the call. Precious, I can see you on the call. All my key people. Um, my advice to you as well is anyone that needs to listen to this, get them on the call right away. Uh, let me. I'm sure, what I'm trying to do before I click kick off is let people know that call uh, call in now. All right, so call in now. It's a nice message for you all. I couldn't find any linked video skills that can play that. And you know, I'm really paranoid about that echo thing because it clearly means that it's listening to every single one of my conversations, um, and that's just not that's just nuts, man. That's just ridiculous. Uh, but hey, we live in the digital age, so what the heck can we do about it? Okay, so, all right, so uh, I've sent it to everyone, and I think everyone should have it now. And I mentioned, I mentioned yesterday uh, that everyone should go on my WhatsApp status, and I will show you something. But I just realized that it's better that I talk about it and really empower my best to empower as much of you as you can, as I can. Now, like joke, like joke. Oh gosh, all this. Okay, like joke, like joke. We are six months into the year. At exactly 12 midnight, we would have basically spent six months, half of the year, and we only have six months left. Everything you said that you would like to do at the beginning of this year, have you achieved 50% of it? If you have not achieved 50% of it, you need to tell yourself, shame on me. Now, this is harsh, but sometimes when you are real with yourself and you actually chastise yourself, uh, or, or discipline yourself. Uh, what tends to happen is you start to become intolerant of procrastinating and you start to become intolerant of um, not achieving your goals. You start to beat yourself. Right now, I'm very angry. Right now, I am very, very angry. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm very, very angry. And um, I'm hoping that by 12 midnight, I would achieve that which I planned to achieve. Um, and the reason being is because I told everybody, I told you all, remember I said to you before, I said, 
you need to tell yourself that ten thousand pounds a month will be peanuts to you and i think a lot of people were thinking to my stick thinking and saying why is this guy talking about if i got ten thousand pounds a month i'll be the happiest man on earth but that's the problem if you think ten thousand pounds a month is gold mine to you then that is the height that is the maximum you can achieve and in reality, most people normally just achieve 50% of that, you know, or, tw or 30, 40% of that. So if you aim for 100% and you get 50%, it's still a pass mark. So that means you need to set goals. But if you want to surpass 100%, then you need to aim for 200%. So that if you get 50% of that, you get 100%. What I do is I aim for 500%. Why? So that worst case scenario, I will get to 50%, which is... Um, 2.5 more than um, 2.5 2 times more than basically 100%. And I, I don't know if that's making sense. Um, um, uh, but it's so important. I've, I've, I've said this to you. You need the words of your mouth are, are key. You have to say it. And you have to say it every single day. Because when you say it and you mean it, then you start to think about it. And when you start to think about it, your mind is like renewing your mind. Your mind opens up. Um, uh, it's for example, if you're thinking about flying, if you think about going on holiday to Dubai, what happens? You now go and start exploring. You think about it. Then you go on Google and you look at different holidays in Dubai, different things you can do. You explore the flights and everything. Then you look at the prices. It may be steep at that point in time for you. You may think to yourself, oh, this is expensive. But then you start to think to yourself, okay, what do I need to do to achieve that? You start to save money. And then you start to talk to your friends about it. Oh, I'd like to go to Dubai. I'd love to do this. I'd love to do that. And then before you know it, you've saved up money and you're going to Dubai. But it started with you saying it. So it has to start with the, the words of the mouth. The words, the, 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 the word, your words have the power to give life and to, to, to give death, to, to give life and death. You can use your mouth to kill your dreams or kill someone else's dreams, or you can use your mouth to give life to your dreams. We are all the living reality of someone else's dream. I told somebody the other day, I don't know, I told my candidates the other day, I said, do you believe that you can fly right now? If you choose to fly, do you believe that you can fly, literally physically fly from where you are to wherever you want to be? No one said, no, no, that's not possible. I don't believe that. I said, well, that's the problem. You don't believe it, so it can't happen. But you remember, but you may not know that it took one man, or sorry, two men, the Wright brothers, to sit down and believe they could fly, to say they could fly, to think about how they could fly, to kind of engineer how it happened. And today, all of us are flying around the world because somebody decided to have mind over matter. Mind over matter. Somebody started, somebody felt that my mind, because your body is limited. If you make decisions based on your limitations, which is your body, you would always be limited in life. If you make decisions based on the power of your mind, the imagination, the ability to think things that are not real. Because a lot of people don't realize that whatever you are thinking about already exists. That's one of the things you need to understand. Whatever you can think, whatever you can imagine, you know, already exists. Because things happen in the spiritual before they happen in the physical. Anybody that thinks things happen in the physical before they happen in the spiritual is kind of is, 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 is limited in their understanding. So what do I mean by that? In fact, the more enlightened we are, the more we operate within the spirit realm. A lot of people tend to think, what the heck are you talking about, KG? What on earth are you talking about? Well, let me explain it to you. Um, once upon a time, you had to connect your wire uh, your uh, your internet cable to your computer to have internet. Why? That was physical, right? You could see that. Well, guess what? Today, you access the internet using Wi-Fi. Can you see it? No. These days, you store your data in the cloud. These days, you stream your music online. You don't literally see it, but it actually exists. So, it's almost as if the digital age is the closest thing we have to the spirit realm. And as we move into the digital age, we are moving from the age of limitation to the age of unlimited accessibility so the age of limited data to the age of unlimited data the age of unlimited um inter uh, unlimited storage to the age of unlimited storage the age of unlimited internet connectivity to the uh, of unlimited internet connectivity to the age of unlimited internet connectivity so as we move from the physical to the spiritual, which I could kind of coin as the digital age we are beginning to experience the 
realization of unlimited capabilities and that ladies and gentlemen is why it must start with the mind the mind will now figure out how to make the impossible possible so once again i will say it and i will say it very very clearly Ten thousand pounds a month will be peanuts to you. Do you believe that? Yes, no. If it is a no, you need to get off this call. You don't need to listen to anything else I need to say to you after this. If it is a yes, indicate, let me know that that's a yes. I think it's quite dark here. I think it's because I put the light over there on. So I might have to go and switch it off. Uh, but I want to make sure, I want to see quickly, just make sure that everyone is on the same page with me. Okay, now um, I'm going to look at, um, are you guys on the same page with me? I'm hoping that you guys are on the call. One second. All right, so if you're on, um, let's use, if you're able to message on Facebook, it helps me so I can know that you're actually following me. Oops, I think I've lost the comments now. Okay, good. Somebody has replied yes. So you're on the same page with me. Good. So that's fantastic. It will always be good if you guys can respond or you can respond on here. But I'll probably prefer there because I'm actually looking at it over here. That's good. Give me a second. I need to switch that light over. Good, good. So yes, £10,000 a month will be peanuts to me. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because... Um, I've had, I had somebody call me today. Sorry, let me switch this light up because it's a bit too dark. Is it better? Okay, I think it's better. All right, so I had somebody say to me today, uh, she called me up and said, uh, KG, I've been a teacher for quite a while. I want a career change. You know, I've heard about how you've changed so many people's lives. And I said, no, I didn't change people's lives. People change their own lives. All I have is a platform that people use to change their life. So it's not up to me. It's entirely up to you. All I do is kind of say the right words and build a platform for you to succeed. And she said, okay, no problem. Um, I'm really excited. I definitely want to get on the platform, you know, and uh, how much do you think I can earn? And I said, how much do you want to earn? I said, I don't know. I said, well, well, seven, eight thousand, hopefully ten thousand pounds a month be okay for you. I said, ah, KG, that's impossible. I said, therein lies the problem. Therein lies the limitation on your life. And she said, is it really possible? I said, if it wasn't possible, so if it wasn't possible, then nobody else will be earning it. It is as easy and as possible as you choose for it to be. And I told her, I said, do me a favor, go on Google, go on job serve. Type in digital project manager, digital business analyst, type in product owners, type in all these roles, type contractor. What do you see? I said, oh my God. They're 400, 500 pounds a day, 600 pounds, 700 pounds a day. Who, who pays people these jobs? And I smiled. And I said, first of all, have we gone from is impossible to it's possible? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm seeing it. I don't know if it's possible for me. I said, once again, therein lies the problem. I said, the people who are getting paid these jobs, do they have two heads? Because if they do, then we certainly have aliens among us. She said, no, they have one head. I said, fantastic. So you're sure, right? She said, yes. I said, okay. Now, if they have one head, then and you have, this, you have basically the same kind of head that they have. The only difference is this. They have downloaded and installed an expertise, or let's use the word software, that enables them to do, to, to, to enables them to solve problems that gets them paid that amount of money. You just don't have that same software in your head. It's just having a MacBook. So if I take my, this is my MacBook over here now. Now this MacBook can do a heck of a lot of things based on the software that I have installed in it. Somebody can have the same MacBook. This MacBook makes me money. While somebody else will have the same MacBook and they have not ever, they've never made money from it apart from watching Netflix and apart from doing whatever it is that they want to do with it. What you have installed here will determine your net worth. But then another thing that determines your net worth is your, um, 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 your net worth is also determined by the net worth of your network. So your network, the people you have around you. Uh, Jay-Z sang a song recently and he said, if all your friends are poor and you are rich, then my friend, you are poor. Why? Because you cannot elevate beyond your network. So if your friends are poor and you are rich, then they can only be dragging you down. Uh, you must be hanging around people that are 10 times better than you. 
and you're no more than two to three people from the most important person you need to speak to. You guys listen to the uh, session I did on LinkedIn and how you can use LinkedIn to build a solid network and kind of build your career. And I'm going to continue on that very, very soon. Okay. So, um, we're now at a point. So, but then I explained it to her. She was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do? Was now her question. And I said, it's pretty simple. You need to get your hands dirty. You need to, first of all, uninstall the things that limit you and start installing the things that empower you. And it's just as simple as that. So what do you need to do? I said, go and look at those jobs. Go and look at what they are asking for. Then come back and ask me if we offer those things. And then ask, don't just ask me if we offer those things. Ask me where you can learn those things, where you can apply your expertise and build your experience in those things. Don't come to my platform and hope that a miracle will happen. Go out there. Look at how much they are paying. Look at the job that you want. The 500, 600, 700 pounds a day that you want. Look at the skills and expertise they're looking for. Then come on my platform and demand that you are... We, that, first of all, make sure that we are doing it. If we are not doing it, demand that we do it. Why? Because that is what would build... Your, that's what will give you the ability to be able to earn that amount of money. Mindset change. She wants to start on. Um, uh, she was. She was also. That we started today. She's gonna start next Saturday, and she will listen to the video she missed on today. And basically, that's it. Now, let us. That's her. Let's put her aside. Let's come back to you, my candidates. In June, I said to every one of you, I said we're going to have six times six success stories. Six times six. That's why I said to you. Remember that, right? Six times six. Uh, I had people message me and say, KG, do you understand that that is more than one person securing a job every single day, including Saturday and Sunday? I said, and? I said, Sorry, um, I got a call in. So, um, I just realized that, I just, so, 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 and I said, and I said, KG, KG, that's a bit too much, you know? And I said, no. I said, I got on my knees and I prayed to God. And I said, Lord, I need you to bless 36 people this month. I need 36 people to get a job. And I prayed. And I got on a platform. And I said to everybody, where two or more are gathered now in his name, there will be. Let us pray. Let us declare that I will be among the 36 times 6. And people started declaring it. Those that declared it, they declared it. And to God who made me. Those of you who are on our platform, please just write how many success stories we have had this month. Because it will be, if I'm saying it, it will look like a joke. Please, anybody there, just type how many we have had this month. I will just wait for somebody who's on the platform to write that down. I know it can only be somebody who's on the platform that will know that. How many people have secured jobs this month? Exactly, 43. We prayed for 6 times 6, 36. We got 43. No, for, um, no 43 now. Uh, the other one came in. Yeah. So 43 success stories. 43 people got a job this month. How on earth is that possible? When you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain to move from here to there. He didn't say if you have faith, faith as big as, as a mountain. He said as small as a mustard seed. You know how small a mustard seed is? Which means the moment, as long as you can believe it and walk towards it, it is possible. And we believed it. And we have 43 success stories. And it was at that point my head clicked. It was at that point I looked at my platform and I realized that we have 700 active candidates. And I also realized that out of that 700 active candidates, there are about 300 and something that are still looking to get a job. And I said, I said, before the end of this year, everybody on our platform will get a job. Now, we now also said that you're not going to get any ordinary job. Please, I don't want to look. But when people send me a job interview saying that I'm going for project coordinator, I, I just, I just, I just don't even, I don't even look at you. You are on our platform, learning the best. Basically, learning skill sets that will transform your life and you are applying for project coordinator when you can be applying for digital product manager, digital product owner, digital business analyst, digital solutions architect, um, business intelligence analyst. What are the kind of jobs that people got this month? Come on, guys. We, you know, because we said it. We said it. We said it. We said it. We said um, um, when we talked about, oh, you shouldn't apply for, do, 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 for smaller roles because what's the point? You can get those smaller roles by yourself project coordinator, project administrator, you can get that by yourself. You know, on this platform, you, you, when you come here, you must think big. 
right? So, can somebody tell me, please, what are the kind of jobs that we got? So, it's not just me saying it. Your guys are on the platform. You can see it. So what kind of jobs have you uh, that the people get out of the 43 success stories? Please, just type that in for me, please. I would appreciate that. I'm relying on you guys, so I'm just waiting. Somebody help me, please. Help me, help me, help me. Ah, good. Digital product owner. Anybody else know the others? So we had digital service manager. We had digital business analyst. We had a business intelligence analyst role. We had head of UX and UI. Those were the kind of jobs where people, that people were getting. Jobs where if it's permanent, it's <laughs> over 60K a year. If it is contracting, it's about five, six, seven hundred pounds a day. That is what we are talking about. These guys are now operating in that realm of, yeah, exactly, of 10,000 pounds a month will be peanuts to me. Now, okay, no, no, they're already, or they're operating in the realm of achieving that. Let's now talk about the realm of 10,000 pounds a month will be peanuts to me. I don't want you to look at those 10K a month jobs as the job, as your goal. I think it is bad for you to do that. I want you to tell yourself that £10,000 a month will be peanuts to you. I am saying this because I am living it. So, and if I can live it, I can tell you. Now, let's deal with some serious stuff right now. How, what did I, when I said to you guys that £10,000 a month will be peanuts to you, what did I say will be peanuts to me? I, I just want to make sure. That we're gonna, you're you're going to say it and I'm going to show it to you. You're going to say it and I'm going to show it to you. And until you, or somebody, so hopefully, hopefully you remember. I said 10,000 pounds a month will be peanut to you. Then I said something will be peanut to me. Exactly. I said 100,000 pounds a month will be peanut to me. That was what I said. I am angry right now. Why? And I'm looking at the time. As I'm talking to you, if you notice, I keep, I keep sliding up. Why do I keep sliding up? Because I'm getting notification of payments that are coming in. <laughs> that is why I'm getting notifications of payments that are coming in. So, I already said that 100k a month will be peanuts to me. Well, for 100k a month to be peanuts to me, I have to achieve it first, right? That's the first thing. So, what did I do? I now started exploring. I started studying. I, st I, I went and read. Uh, I looked at the books that Bill Gates read. read. I looked at the books that... Um, all these top people read. I kind of studied them. I looked at their business models. I said, look, because I have to change my mindset. I started changing my cycle. I started re renewing my network because if the people around me are poorer than me, then I am poor. Then I have to associate myself. When footmen start to run with horsemen, they have no choice than to get a horse to keep up. So I knew that for me to enter the realm of 100K a month, I have to associate myself with people who are earning 100K a month. And for me to keep up, I have to acquire the skill set and expertise that they have. I started with that mindset this month. And as I'm talking to you, I said I am angry. Why? Because I, I aimed for 100%. And because I aim for 100%, I know if I achieve 50% is a pass mark. And I am angry with myself because I should have aimed for 250% so I can achieve 100%. You are wondering what on earth is going on. Let me prove it to you. Like I said to you before, there, there are people out there that will try and motivate you and encourage you and inspire you, but they won't tell you how or they won't show you. I'm going to show you. This here is real deal. This here is sales for this month. Let me show you. I have to turn this round. Okay. There you go. There we go. And you can see over here is this month, past 30 days, that's 92,000 pounds, 55% up from last year. Can you see the change in mindset? The moment I told myself 100K will be peanuts to me and I started aiming for 100K, in 30 days this month, I have increased my sales by over 50%. Number of transactions have gone up by 91%. Average selling price reduced by 19%. And the sales are coming from literally all over the world. And all I need to do is actually look over here and I'm beginning to realize that actually I'm generating 52% of my business from returning customers. Not exist, not new customers, oh, 
from returning customers. I'm going to come and explain that one to you very, very soon. So come back again. I told you I am angry. Why am I angry? I am flipping angry because I aimed for 100% and I am going to achieve 90 something percent of it when I should have aimed for 200 percent or 250 percent and then at least I will have gotten a hundred percent Are you following where I'm going now now like I said, I'm not I really couldn't care if anybody thinks all oh, these guys boast now Those of you that know me would know what I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to get you to Okay, I have not gone to the barbers eh? and like I told you I, I can't be bought that the person, look, a pregnant woman does not care about how she looks. All she cares about is giving birth to the future. Thank you. That payment is coming in. Hopefully, we'll, keep, we'll hit the 100. We'll see. Yeah? Um, 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 a pregnant woman is, doesn't care about how she looks. All she cares about is the birth, she, future she's giving birth to. So, my friends, say, ah, KG, why are you looking so bushy? I said, don't worry. <laughs> the bushiness is a sign that something is coming very, very soon. You know, I haven't got... My focus has been basically what I need to do to achieve this. So... If I can do it, do I have two heads? No. I keep telling you guys, nine times out of ten, most of you are way smarter than me. Most of you are way wiser than me. Most of you have a well, well more, a lot more connected than me. Time and chance happens to us all. The race is not to the swift. No, I can't remember. The, but time and chance happens to us all. Time is the only commodity you don't get a refund on. And time is the most valuable commodity ever. So what you do right now, between now and the end of the year, will determine your relevance next year. What you do within, within now and the next three months will determine your relevance in the next three, in the next three months after that. And I sat down and I asked myself, KG, <laughs> For you to move from, because you saw it, 55% up in sales. For you to move from 55% up in sales, for you to basically make 100K a month, you need to change your mindset. Now, by the way, this is just, I think this is, this is just Western sales. We're not talking about Nigerian sales, where we set up a hub in Nigeria, in Nigeria. If we add that, then we definitely surpassed 100K. But I didn't count that. I counted this one alone. Yeah? Now, um, 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 Titi in Niger, in uh, the head of our head of um, um, operations in Nigeria, mailed me and said, ah, KG, we've done really well this month, so I think I'm going to pay you 1.5 million. Um, because I, I we allow her to decide how much she pays me in terms of um, director salary. And I said, no, nah, don't worry about it, take that salary, split it into um, all the um, all the staff that actually got that money, reward them, let them collect it. I don't need that 1.5 million right now. You know, I already have something here. Um, uh, just reward them because at the end of the day, it's all about globalizing. Um, so I knew that I can't, I can't, in order for me to move to another level, I cannot be operating in the same mindset. I understood that, yes, I went through digital transformation last year, but I need to now go through digital optimization. I need to start investing in the technology that will enable me to enhance every area of the business, be it the customer experience, be it the operational, uh, the, the, the operation, operational side of things, be it the business model. I knew that I needed to ex investigate and explore, top, um, um, go and read the book, um, Good to Great. I think it's Good to Great or Great. Yeah, it's think it's Good to Great. Uh, I needed to spend my time reading case studies on companies, looking at what they are doing to succeed. I needed to understand what they were doing and start to adopt, adopt it into my company. And to God who made me, I started to see a difference. I started to see the changes and it blew me away. And one of the things I read about these great companies is they don't build a technology. They don't build a, um, they don't build a platform hoping that people will come. They study the re they, they study the real world and build a platform model based on that real world. And that was one of the things that I learned. And in fact, let me correct that because if, if, I, if, I, if I don't say how it happened, then I am not giving God the glory. So what tends to happen is I wake up in the morning these days and I spend at least two hours to two and a half hours praying and listening to God. So whatever it is that I read about, I will sit down and kind of 
start discussing with God and say, Lord, this is what I learned, blah, 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 and everything. So I kind of read about platform, you know, building a platform, because that's what we do. We have an e-work experience platform here. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, good. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, sorry, the call's coming, you know, which is annoying. So I'll just, I'll continue. All right. So I now, um, I think I lost where I was. I lost where I was. So now, now I sat down and I felt, I said, um, and I sat down and I said, Lord, this is what I've learned. Can you kind of direct me and everything? And you realize that the more quiet, the more still you are, the more you start to have enlightenment. And it just came to me that actually, you know what? Um, don't build a platform. Um, don't, don't build a technology. Don't build a platform hoping people will come on it. Explore. The uh, explore the real world. Explore what is happening in the real world. So if you look at the likes of WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp is doing the same thing that we've been doing before. It's just digitized. What are they doing? It's very simple. Once upon a time, we all used to meet up in groups. You have um, a class of 26 or class of this or class of that. And we will meet up once in a while to catch up. Now you can do it on WhatsApp. We all used to send letters to each other, send text messages to each other. Now you can do it instantly. WhatsApp has just digitized an existing model. Everybody gossips. Everybody likes to be the first to say something. Everybody wants to have their voice heard. Twitter just digitized it and made it available. So these platforms already existed. <laughs> Connecting with people, building your network is something that's always existed for ages. LinkedIn just digitized it. <laughs> You know, so you don't want to build a platform hoping people will come to it. You want to look at, you want to look at what is actually happening in the world and find a better way to um, use technology to uh, uh, to enhance it, which is kind of the wisdom I got. And I thought, okay, good. So let's look at the world of work experience. Let's look at what's going on. When we talk about work experience, what exactly do people want? And how do we digitize and automate it and make it available to people and help more people secure jobs? And we started doing it. And before God and man, I kid you not, we started doing it. And look at what's happening. 43 success stories in one month. And not only 43 success stories, sales has gone up by 55%. Transactions have gone up by... Uh, I don't know how much, how much has transactions gone up by? Transactions have gone up by... I've lost it. I had it open somewhere. Um, I think I, can, I think you saw it. I can't remember what transactions are gone up by, but transactions are gone up by well, over fifty percent anyway. So that tells you what that tells you that you know what it is plain and simple. You don't need to sit here worrying about how you will sort your life out. You no longer need to allow your circumstances to define your decision making. You need to allow opportunities to define your decision making. You no longer need to allow cost to define what you will do. You need to allow opportunities to define what you will do. Because if you make decisions based on cost, it will cost you the opportunity. If you make decisions based on opportunities, it will produce more opportunities. To some, it gave two talents, some five talents, some ten talents, each according to their own ability. The one that took his talent and went and hid it, even what he had was taken away from him. But the one that took his talent and put it into work, that put his talent to work, he had more. What am I saying? DBT candidates, every one of you have either one, two, three, four, five talents. You are on our platform. Put it to work. Explore. Discover. And then deploy yourself out there so that you will get more. Someone is at my door, so I just want to quickly go and open it, then I'll come back. So just bear with me a second. I think the boys are still planning to have fun tonight. Um, so bear with me. Everybody. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. So How we're gonna go out very very soon. So uh, among the fun and everything, we still try and we still work hard. All right. So so in just what I was saying, uh, it is so important um, that you sit down there and tell yourself, I've got six months to the end of the year. What exactly? Where exactly is the opportunity? Now we are living in the digital age. And in the digital age that we live in today, 
it has opened us to a global economy. Digital technology has allowed automation to make our life easier. We're now living, and digital technology means electronic data. That is what digital technology means, it's electronic data. Data is the new oil. And because data is the new oil, you need to learn how to harness that data, analyze that data, visualize that data, and use it to make an informed decision. Every company is doing this. Every company that has not gone through digital transformation is dead. If you're working for a company right now, and that company has not gone through digital transformation or not going through transformation, hand your notice in. Right now, you should not be working for a company that is paying you to kill your career. I, I cannot explain this. You are better off handing in your notice and being unemployed, looking for empowering yourself within the digital space that you're staying in a job that is paying you to be relevant in the future. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. So right now, you've got to ask yourself, where exactly? Because remember, time and chance happens to us all. When your time comes, are you opportune enough to take it? Stop making decisions based on cost. Stop making decisions based on your circumstances. Stop sitting there and telling yourself, I've got to pay my bills. I've got to stop procrastinating. You're wasting your life. By 2030, I think 2034, 47% of jobs will be automated. Where would you be? So you need to sit down there and start being realistic with yourself. <laughs> But in, in, in exactly, um, um, in, I, I mean, we know that in 50 years, most jobs will be literally, auto, most jobs will be automated. So where are you going to be? So you've got to be the guy that is building the jobs that will be automated. Not the person who is sitting down being a victim of jobs being automated. So what are you going to do? Um, thank God I'm in the world, I'm in this business, I'm, we're in the digital space. So I'll be very plain and simple to you and I'll explain to you what we're doing. We are building an e-work experience platform. I am looking for ways to drive operational costs down. So whatever I can digitize, whatever I can automate, um, work towards a unified system where I am informed by data and use that data to make decisions. Take advantage of bots, take advantage of artificial intelligence, whereby instead of hiring a person, I have, a, I, I have a virtual coach or a virtual assistant or a virtual customer service person sorting all that things out. So I'm looking to drive that operational cost, further integrate into my customer's lifestyle, delivering a better customer experience because we live in a digital age and because 33% of the world population is mobile and social. Every company must have a mobile social first strategy. Every company, which is obviously what we have as well. So look at it. How are you communicating with me right now? I am talking to you guys via your mobile handset. Now, why am I so sure that 33% of the world population is mobile social? That is because 33% 33, um, 33 of the world population have a Facebook, WhatsApp, or Instagram account. And 88% access it via their mobile. Now, I've told everybody, go and buy Facebook shares. You want to be rich? Go and buy Facebook shares. <laughs> they, listen, they dominate the mobile market. They dominate the mobile mar advertising market. Somebody told me the other day, I'm not using Facebook again. Are you going to delete your WhatsApp account? They own that. Somebody said, I'm only using Instagram. I don't use Facebook. Well, they own Instagram. They've now launched IGTV. Do you actually know that the number two search engine in the world was supposed to be Google? Now, Facebook is having more video views than YouTube. YouTube. And on top of that, Instagram IGTV is taking over. So anybody with at least a brain would understand that right now, if Facebook only accounts for 33%, what will happen when they account for 60%? What will happen when they account for 90%? Their share price is $200 right now. Look at Amazon. Share price is $1,000 something. Do you get my point? Um, Google, $1,000 something. So Facebook is just about to start. So you can imagine that they will be on that same level. So if you bought shares right now at $200, in maybe 10 years' time, if that hits 1,000 times, that is your money five times. Do you get that? Look, it, your mindset needs to change. You need to understand the digital age that you live in. So I have divest into basically you, you using your money to... You are using, letting your money work for you. I have divest into that. But let's come back to you right now. In terms of you right now, Every company is either digitally transforming or now optimizing.
which means that they will be looking for digital experts to help them achieve their goals and objectives. Now, here is the fantastic news that you need to be aware of. And what is that fantastic news? In the United Kingdom, as we speak right now, 45% of people in the country do not have the right digital skills to compete in the market. There are 1.6 million, 1.64 million digital jobs in the UK and growing two times faster than the other industries. Therein lies opportunities. What are the jobs? Well, it's very plain and simple. You can be a data analyst. You can be a business intelligence analyst. You can be a product owner. You can be a, um, a digital product manager. You can be a digital business analyst, digital uh, P, um, digital um, project manager. You can be a digital marketer. You can be a dig um, an SEO, search engine optimization expert. You can be a web analyst. You can be a... Um, solutions solutions architect you can be basically anything within the digital space and these are the jobs of the future we're beginning to see people who have been project managers for years now redundant why they don't have the digital skills to compete in the market we have people that have been BAs for years now made redundant or can't get a job why they don't have the digital skills to compete. A project is a temporary organization built for the purpose of delivering one or more business products. That is what a project is. So if a project is a temporary organization built for the purpose of delivering one or more business product, based on the justifiable business case, what is that justifiable business case for most companies now? To digitally transform, digital optimize, and gain a competitive advantage and further integrate into the customer's lifestyle because the average user is digitally savvy and upward mobile. So that now means that every company will be investing in projects that are digitally focused. So basically, every company must now have a digital business strategy, a digital um, uh, product offering, yeah, and have a clear digital roadmap for success. So no longer do we have a business case, we now have a digital business case for success, which means that the projects are going to be digital. And that is why when you look at JobServe, you will see digital project manager, digital business analyst more than just ordinary project manager. And that is where the money is. So, how much are they paying those guys? They're paying those guys good money. Contractors, 400, 500 pounds a day. As long as you know what you are doing. But like I said to you before, you are not going to aim for 500 pounds a day. 500 pounds a day, 10,000 pounds a month will be peanuts for you. You are going to go for way more than that. So you're going to aim for 20,000 pounds a month. If you're big enough, if you're, if you're bold enough, you will aim for £100,000 a month. Now, when you do that, it will change your mindset. It will change your level of thinking. It will change what you learn. Because you cannot... You, see, whatever you learn, right? Whatever you have learned has determined your relevance and your worth today. If you want to change your pay package, then you have to change what you are learning. Okay. So if you want to change what you are learning, if you want to change your pay package, then you have to change what you are learning. Now, you all know that we partner with the Digital Marketing Institute. I sat down with them and I formulated a, 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 a course which is going to be accredited by them and it is called the Digital Product Manager. Why am I doing that? Because I know that the project manager is phasing out and we're now going to have companies that are product driven. And when you look at the Digital Product Manager's job role, it is very much a combination of a business analyst a digital expert, and also a project manager. So that is what it's evolving to. Hence, we are now preparing to equip our candidates to be both BAs, PMs, digital experts, so they can apply for product owner roles and probably evolve into solution architects the more technical they are, and to make sure that they have the right data skills to now help key decision makers make an, inf an inf informed decision through data. But more importantly for every one of you is this. It's one thing to get a job. It's one thing to be well paid for the job. But you don't want to work for a job. You didn't come to this world to work your whole life. I, I don't work my whole life. Uh, well, actually, no. I, don't, I used to. I don't work. I mean, I wake up, spend two hours, three hours praying. I take time to switch on Netflix, uh, switch on the TV, watch news for a bit. I come downstairs, I see loads of missed calls, I ignore it, I have breakfast. Uh, I might take a walk, come back, see my phone ringing, ignore it, come back. And then probably around 12 o'clock, I'm not lying, this is my life. 12 o'clock, I now sit down and start looking at my messages. 
and I might just decide to just watch TV for a bit more. And this has been my life for 10 years. I'm becoming lazier and lazier. And the lazier I'm becoming, the more I'm thinking of how to use my Call Kenna. Call Kenna is calling me, please, so that he doesn't call me again. Um, so the more, the, la the, the more lazy I'm becoming, the more I want to do less for more. Sorry, guys, people are calling. We're going, we're supposed to be going out, so people are calling. So I've had to sit down and look at what is almost as if I tell myself, what, how can I do less for more? That's why I, you know, I, I try and work smarter rather than hard. And it's the same thing I want you all to be doing. I want you all to do the same thing. So it's very simple. Um, I talked about the fact that um, you need to build your digital skills, but there's one area I need you to focus on. It's one thing to get a job and get paid for that job. Is another thing to have your money working for you. You're working for money, but eventually you want money to work for you. I hope it makes sense, eventually. So what are you going to do? I encourage every single one of you, trust me on this because I live it, I'm doing it. Go and build your digital marketing skills. Go and get certified in digital marketing. Is this, hey, hey, please, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go and build your digital marketing skills. Why? Well, put it this way. Um, have you ever sat down? Have you ever sat down and wondered what the value of your contacts are? Please let me shut the door. Excuse me. Have you ever wondered, sat down and wondered the value of your contacts? Do you actually know that your net worth is actually also established by your contacts? You know, I, told, I said that earlier. Let me give you an example. I had... 18 people from my contacts contact me. Um, 18 people from my contacts contact me. And then those 18 people called me up and said, KG, we want to do your training. Okay? And I said, no problem. Um, whenever you're ready, you know, just say, no, KG, we want to treat it now. We'll be looking at all the stuff you've been posting on WhatsApp, on your WhatsApp status, all the success stories. I want to do the training now. Those 18 people signed up. 18 times 699. I think that's 18,000 pounds. They said, no, no, 18 times 699, that's 12,582. I have made 12,582 pounds from my contact. Do you know what hit me straight away? Oh boy, how many contacts do I have? And I checked my phone contacts and I realized that, oh my God, I have 2,000 people in my contacts. Then I established the value of the, the value of one customer based on an average order value. So the average order value of 699. And I realized that, oh my God, I'm sitting on 1.3 million pounds. But then I now looked at the lifetime value of my customers. Lifetime values of my customers is about 4,000 pounds. So 4,000 pounds times 2,000 pounds, um, I realized that I'm sitting on 8 million pounds. The net worth of my contacts is 8,000 pounds. Oh boy, I sat down and felt, okay, how do I make sure that all of my contacts are able to see what I'm doing? How do I make my WhatsApp status feed so interesting that I create a story that leads them to a call to action? Because if I made 15,000 pounds in one month from my contacts, if I start to harness that data, how much money? Because I'm basically data is oil wealth. So I'm sitting on 8 million pounds. How much of that 8 million pounds can I get every month? That is just my contacts. Now, how many contacts do you have on Facebook? How many contacts do you have on Instagram? If you have a YouTube page, how many subscribers do you have? Have you not stopped to wonder how all of a sudden people are becoming multi-millionaires just from the power of their connections, of their followers? Digital marketing is not a joke. Digital marketing is literally data-driven marketing. Do not take it for granted. Why am I saying this? Because as you, as digital marketing is key to you, you being a digital project manager, being a digital business analyst, being a digital product owner, being a digital anything, so is it key for the day that idea comes and you end up with a product? Because my average order value is six nine nine. Your average order value may be one thousand pounds. Your average order value may be five thousand pounds. Your average order value may be fifty pounds. But if you multiply it by your contacts, it is money in your pocket. So why don't you learn? the skills required for you to run a business for the time where you run out of contract and money is still coming in for the time where you can't be bothered to work anymore and money is still coming in because you have the right digital skills so three two things i want you guys to be prepared for for the next six months one mindset 
and telling yourself that you are going to go on the job serve. You're going to look at the jobs that pay seven, eight hundred pounds a day, one thousand pounds a day. You're going to look at job boards. You're going to look at the skills they are looking for. And that is what you are going to empower yourself in. And you're going to change your network and start to associate yourself with people who are better than you, who are where you want to be. Why? Because when footmen start running with horsemen, they have no choice than to get a horse to keep up. That's one. Trust me, do that. What you do today will determine your relevance tomorrow. And let's see where we're going. This is the message for you. The second message is be prepared for the digital age that you're in. Start to think about how your money can start to work for you. Start to look at how you can monetize your assets, your digital assets, your digital contacts, your data. So you either have digital assets, digital real estate. There's the third one. What's the third one? There's digital assets, there's digital real estate, and there's di and your, your data. Yeah, your, your, da or your oil well, your data well. So you're either looking at how you're going to monetize your data well if you have data. How are you going to monetize your digital asset if you have digital assets? And how are you going to monetize your... I've got the last one. Asset. No, no, I've mentioned asset. Or your, um, your data, your, 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 um, real your real estate. Okay, I think data, data asset and real estate are the same, roughly the same thing. The data assets, no. No, your real estate is like your online portals, your online platforms, and stuff like that. And your assets can be, uh, um, say for example, it's actually... Your sources. Part, your, your, what are they, your data. Your platforms, yeah. Assets is basically the things that basically like you know like digital assets. The data asset will be your data repository. Yeah, your data repository. repository. Sorry, so your data repository. All the things that you use. So those are your yeah, data assets. Exactly. Then exactly. your data, uh, your oil well yeah, is your data more or less that you raw use. Data. Then you convert your raw data. That you convert, and then there is your uh, real estate, which is your platform. Yes. You know, and for example, your Facebook page could be your real estate. Yes. But that's end media. Your Instagram page could be your real estate. That's end media. Then there is your paid media. There is your own media. Come, go and do digital marketing. I beg, I beg, I beg. Go and do the, 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 the. You need wisdom. <laughs> it's just that simple. You need wisdom. Is that is that clear? Because I have showed you. I will show. Let's show it to you well, again. Well, they are in the right place. They are in the right place, but I need wisdom to prepare them. Is about you know networking as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know. One second. Let me. Let me show you this again, because I showed them, I showed them, and I, and I was screaming about the 100k, yeah, yeah. Was, so I'm trying to see if I've achieved it, one second, because all the things have been coming in, let's see if we've updated it, you know, now, I, and I said to her, I said, I'm angry, I said, I'm angry, why am I angry, yeah. I am angry, no, because yeah. I aimed for one, I aimed for 100k, mm -hmm. I should have aimed for 200k, yeah. let's show you, so, see it again, there you go, so there you go, my biggest mistake, was aiming for hundred percent. I should have aimed for two hundred percent. Because look, I didn't achieve it. I aimed for hundred k. I got ninety two k. But though, because I changed my mindset, I increased sales by fifty five percent. I increased number of transactions by ninety one percent. And all of this has come from me harnessing the power of my data. All of this has come from me looking to digitize, automate, integrate, and basically be informed yeah. through b business intelligence be it prescriptive be it predictive guys i am living proof that anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it once upon a time i don't want you to tell me oh but i have a ccj you didn't have ccj pass me i don't want you to tell me oh but i have bad credit you didn't have bad credit pass me I don't want you to tell me, but hey, KG, your life is different. I used to live in council flat that smelled like shit. I can carry on and carry on and carry on. But I did not allow my circumstances to define my decisions. Yeah. I allowed the opportunities in front of me to define my decision making. I did not make decisions based on cost. I made decisions based on opportunities. And I'm going to end there. Okay? And I hope that this is enough to empower every single one of you for in, um, 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 this month uh, until the end of the year because at the DBT Awards this year basically we want I, I want five six hundred people Simple. to be there I want to be celebrating six seven hundred people yes. for success stories I want everybody yes. on our e-work experience platform to have gotten a job and I want all of us to be amazed 
shocked and it will be a, it will be a day of our know, fifth anniversary it will be a day of prayer of worship a day of gratitude a day that we will know that basically anything is possible for those that believe and i hope that you're blessed and let's let's um uh, we're going now don't worry tell him we're going and i'll catch up with you guys later take care god bless and uh bye bye